One of the advantages of creating a node project is that you can manage dependencies using it, right? So I can say npm install, and then your package that you can that you need in your application, you can download it and install it from the npm repository, and then use it in your code. So I'm going to demonstrate this by using a package called Lodash. Lodash is a utility library for JavaScript, which has a lot of collection and object related functions. Uh, it lets you manage collections and you know, manage arrays. Uh, it lets you filter arrays, map, and things like that. And there's a lot of utility functions that you can use. So I'm going to be installing Lodash first, and I'm going to be using it in the TypeScript code. The way to install a library uh, in a Node project is by using npm install, the name of the library, and then you use the dash dash save in order to save it to the local directory where uh, you're running and then make an entry into package.json so that it gets registered as a dependency. So I'm gonna install lodash now. I'm gonna do a dash dash save to have the lodash dependency registered in package.json. So you notice what happens when I hit enter over here. It's gonna download the lodash dependency and it's gonna register it in my package.json over here like this. Lodash is registered with a certain version number. Now, Lodash is available in my node modules folder and it's available for use in my TypeScript project, right? So let's say I create a more array is one, two, three, four, five. It's a simple number array. And I'm gonna reverse this array. Lodash has a reverse function. Now, how do I import Lodash? With person, I kind of knew what the name of the class was. Here it's exporting person, I kind of get that. But with Lodash, I don't really want to selectively choose. I want pretty much everything. So in order to do that, the syntax is import star from Lodash. So there are a couple of things that are happening here. Star basically says I want everything. I'm importing everything from Lodash. And the second thing here is the from is not a relative path like you had over here. It was a dot slash person. So with Lodash, I don't actually have to go to dot dot slash node modules folder slash Lodash. I don't have to do that. If I were to just enter the library name as is, it is gonna pick it up from the node modules folder. So this is the convention for picking it up from node modules. Now, since I'm importing everything from Lodash, I want to be able to use it with a variable name, and I need to give this a name. Whatever I'm importing from Lodash, which happens to be everything, I want to give it a name, and I give it a name by using the as and the name. I'm using underscore here. I could call this foo, and now everything is called foo, all right? Now, I'm going to give this an underscore because that's a convention for uh, Lodash. Now, how do I use this library? Oh, I know that there is a reverse function in Lodash which lets you reverse array. So I can do underscore dot reverse and then array. I pass in an array and it is going to reverse the array. It's going to return an array which is the reverse. I happen to know this, but wouldn't it be nice if we were to just do a dot and then have autocomplete happen? Well, it doesn't quite happen in this case because here's the thing. The TypeScript compiler and uh, the editor, the IDE here actually, kind of knows what the autocomplete for the person class here is, for instance, because it has the source code right here. So if I were to do a, a foo dot over here, it knows that there are two properties, first name and last name, because it has the source code right here. It has the TypeScript code right here. But in the case of Lodash, you see here what it's got is not TypeScript. It's got JavaScript code. That's because there's really nothing in the npm install process that's TypeScript related. When people do npm install Lodash, they're probably working on a JavaScript code, right? They're probably not using TypeScript. So the npm install process gets you JavaScript code. And JavaScript, like we know, does not contain any typing information. So how is it possible for me to somehow facilitate this autocomplete for npm installed modules, just like you have autocomplete for the local source code. Just like you have person, I'd like to do autocomplete for underscore as well. And also the TypeScript compiler would like to check for types for uh, the npm installed 
APIs as well. If you were to use a Lodash API, TypeScript compiler would like to make sure that you're using it right. For instance, if you're passing a string to a function that expects a number in a library in your node modules folder, since it's .js, you wouldn't be able to catch it, but we'd like to catch it. In order to facilitate these things like autocomplete and type checking for, for libraries that you've installed in your node modules folder, you can use what's called type definitions. TypeScript has an option of type definitions, which let you define types in addition to the source code. How do you do that? One thing you can do is do an npm install of somehow a Lodash TypeScript implementation, right? So in this, in this case, you're gonna get the TypeScript version of Lodash and you're gonna be fine, right? The people who are using JavaScript can just install Lodash and the people using TypeScript can install Lodash-TS or whatever and you're gonna get the TypeScript version all the typing features are now available to you, even in your libraries. But then that means that somebody has to implement Lodash all over again in TypeScript. Lodash wasn't written in TypeScript, I guess. So you wouldn't wanna write the whole thing again in a different language. To avoid this, what people have done is created this thing called type definitions. This involves TypeScript files, which don't implement the library all over again, but it has declarations for all the APIs and you have type information for all those APIs. And those type definitions are available in NPM repositories. So you can install the Lodash type definition. It's a separate NPM module. It's a separate NPM package that you can install. It's not called this exactly, but the concept is you install the type definition as a separate NPM module, and then you have all the type information for TypeScript to do its job. This type definition is available under a package called types, and then you have several libraries under it. So Lodash happens to be one of those libraries. I'm gonna install types slash Lodash, and I'm gonna do save dev. I want this to be saved as a development dependency so that it's not bundled with the final output. Again, this is specific to NPM. I'm not gonna cover this in detail. Google this if you wanna learn more. But essentially what this is doing is getting the Lodash type definitions and installing it in the node modules folder. I'm gonna save this. And now in package.json, you see you have a dev dependencies node which contains types for Lodash. All right, now, I'm gonna to switch to index.ts. And now if I do underscore dot, here you see you get all the type information for Lodash. There are a bunch of functions that you have available to you. And you get, you know, if you do a control space, you're gonna get those things in order complete. And now there is a reverse function as well, as you can see here. And now I'm going to pass in the array and I'm gonna do console dot log in order to print this, the reverse array. And now if I were to run npm start, TypeScript is gonna compile and I'm gonna get the reversed array back. So in a nutshell, what did we do? We did npm install and installed the library. And uh, the library goes into the node modules folder. Can we use it right away? So you wouldn't get the benefit of TypeScript. You wouldn't get type information, you wouldn't get type checking because the library is possibly implemented in JavaScript. What you get when you do npm install is JavaScript. But there are certain other libraries which are called type definition libraries. And you have type definition libraries that have been created by a lot of good people out there. Uh, they have corresponding type definition libraries for a lot of the popular JavaScript libraries and Lodash also happens to have a type definition library and that's available with this name at types slash Lodash. And uh, if you expand this, which is what was get regenerated and these are specifically in TypeScript format. This is not a re-implementation of the library like I covered, it just contains the type definitions. And uh, you once you install it, it's available for the TypeScript compiler, it's available for your ID for uh, autocomplete purposes. And uh, you get the benefit of TypeScript, not only for your own code, 
but also for the library that you've installed using npm.